guys welcome back to my channel my name's Tammy I'm a walnut creek bath boutique I have such a treat for you guys today at least it is for me <laughs> I have a story for you if you're new around here you kind of get used to my stories I try not to bore you too much with them but I do have a story for you <laughs> the soap challenge club two or three months ago four months ago I don't remember guys it, they had this, the scraping or the sculpted design I don't know what made me think Covered bridge. <laughs> I don't know. It wasn't in a time when I was really trying to get ready for covered bridge festival, but I just like, oh my gosh, wouldn't it be so neat to have a covered bridge soap for the covered bridge festival? I knew Lisa over at I Dream of Soap does custom scrapers. So I shot her an email and I said, Lisa, can we do a covered bridge scraper? Is that a thing we can do? And I sent her some pictures of different random covered bridges in the area. After a couple back and forth emails, uh, we, i.e. Lisa, <laughs> the wise one, <laughs> said that that is gonna be a lot of waste, a lot of soap scraping. And um, I didn't wanna do that. That, I mean, this already has a fair amount of waste. Uh, but yeah, that was going to be a ridiculous amount of waste to try to do the covered bridge as a scraped design. So she recommended that maybe an embed would be better. It wouldn't be able to be ready for the challenge, but maybe for my festival, she could certainly have it ready. And I was like, yeah, okay, let's do that. I couldn't get it out of my mind. At that point, I had to have a covered bridge. <laughs> so I, I think it was like June 1st in the mail, I got my embed. I didn't know she was sending it guys. It was a surprise and it was a gift. God love her. She's awesome. So she gifted me my covered bridge in bed and not only one, she gifted me two guys. <laughs> I'm so excited. This soap, I'm trying to make this fast. This soap, I have made it. I did a trial run, you know, I taped it and then I thought, uh, this may be, maybe I better just make this a, a, a practice run and not, and not really do this as a video for you guys. So here is my covered bridge soap on my first go. I think it's great. I am so stinking happy. <laughs> All right. I did make some mistakes that I want to improve on. Clearly, this is my first time using it, right? It's difficult for me to get this gray to be dark enough that's not gonna be, it's gotta almost be right between the black and the light gray that this is supposed to be. And actually this gray would be fine if this gray was even a lot lighter. I didn't know how to measure out how much soap I needed for each of these colors. I was totally guessing and I have two different blues because I ran out of blue. You can maybe see it on this one a little bit better. I have two different blues there. And other than that, I think it's pretty good. It took me like, an hour to figure out that this is supposed to be done upside down. <laughs> I thought one of her scrapers that she messed up. It's like, no, she didn't. It's, it's, an, it's an upside down soap. <laughs> the things I'm going to do different in the soap area is I'm going to try to do clouds in my blue sky. I'm going to do two different color of green to kind of make that a lot more interesting. I think that swath of green is just boring. So that's the plan for today. Today is the embed making. So I have all of my scrapers that she numbered, <laughs> thankfully, she numbered my scrapers because I was having a time trying to figure all this out. And I was like literally talking out loud to myself saying, okay, well, this is this, this is this. <laughs> One of the things that I did, I think that I made a mistake on is my, by the time I was done, I think my lye water was just a little off because my dark gray on the bottom of my bridge just was a little crumbly. It didn't have a have a, an appropriate feel. So what I've done here is I have a 50-50 lye water solution here. I have just plain old water here and then all of my oils here. And so I am going to be mixing these up as I go. Also, guys, I'm, I'm just an, I'm, I'm just nervous. So I have all these pages that I hate waste on paper, but this is my total recipe. And then I split it off and I figured I need about 17 ounces of oil weight for my red part of my bridge. So this is red, 
and I need 4.95 of my light solution plus 2.2 of my water and I'm going to mix them as I go. So I need 17 and a half ounces of oil so I will be right back with that. I already added my trial by fire color to my oils here and I went ahead and added my lye water and now I'm going to be adding my fragrance oil. I tested the fragrance oil this weekend and it doesn't discolor and it didn't speed up trace or anything like that. And this one is pepper, peppercorn and pomander, 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 I don't know, pomander from Midwest Fragrance. It smells really good. This does have like these little points here on the edge down here. So I need to make sure that I um, don't have it too thick that it won't flow into those points. I actually thought about making less because this this is the part with where it has all of the um, waste. This is this is most of this is going away. Uh, so I don't know if that would kind of work to have make about five ounces less and just build it up on the sides. I don't know about that. All right, I'm going to clean up and when this is ready, scrape it and move on to the next color. So I have one, I still need to work on it. It's not quite done yet, but this is quite ready, quite quickly, actually. So I'm just getting the bulk of it out of the middle and then I'll clean up the edges and try to make them perfect. Not a very good scraper. <laughs> this takes some practice. I unmolded my bridges. I haven't cut them to length yet, but here is a look at that. You can see that. We'll get that cut to size here in a second. I wanna do clouds this time, so I watched a couple of Lisa's uh, videos where she does the clouds. So I have my squeeze bottle. Dang it, you know what I did? I forgot that I needed more blue. <laughs> I needed more blue because I didn't have enough. And I was, oh shoot. I'm never gonna match that blue back up. Never in a million years will I match that blue. But I need more blue. Definitely need a bit more blue. So, I'm going to have to. I'm going to do what I can, match up my blue, and do this kind of again. And I'll bring you back when I'm ready to do the, the next step, okay? I know, I have all of this blue here. Maybe I didn't need to make as much of that blue as I thought I did. But it just, it was below the blue line. So I felt like I had to, but the scraping probably would have, you know, helped me out there a little bit. I'm making newbie mistakes, guys, and that's okay. I'm a newbie. <laughs> okay, so I have my two greens here. Another thing I saw when I was scoping out Lisa's channel is I really didn't like... Okay, so just to point out a couple of things. My blue... It was not as defined as I was hoping. I think this was a little too loose when I was scraping it. So I really wanted to make sure that my blue is completely defined this time. And then my green, I'm getting some soda ash developing. Uh, my green is very boring, so I'm gonna use two different greens here. 
and just kind of do an in the pot swirl so I have some variation in my green trees. I'm using jungle green in one pot and then I have, I'm trying to use up my colorants that are just almost gone. So I used a good part of the peak green from Micah Zamora with a little bit of black just to give it a little bit of depth. I thought it was a little too bright for what I wanted. So now I need to uh, figure out how much green I need. And I think, I, I think I'm think i gonna do another 28 ounces for my green because last time I made it, I used 36 ounces and it was way too much. I need a, just a layer of this on the bottom before I set my covered bridge on it. Uh, I can't remember how I did that. Hmm, how did I do that? I think I just filled it up a little bit and then set my bridge on there and then filled around it. <laughs> I think that's how I did it. Uh, so we'll see. We'll see if this is about about where I need to be. And that is probably too thin to be doing an in the pot swirl. Uh -huh. <laughs> There's my covered bridge. Hopefully that is thick enough to hold it up. It's, it's a little bit lower than I meant for it to be. Um, and I don't think there's any way for me to lift that without damaging it. Gonna let that set up and then do my best to leave keep this as fluid as I can <laughs> I want this to set up I want this to stay fluid so I'm losing all my variations that's okay I think it's more important to have the bridge in the right position it's actually holding up my bridge now <laughs> so I can move forward with putting these in carefully and then put the green around it. And hopefully my ear pockets will be at a minimum. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna tear this on the scale. I'm just gonna put the green right on top of this, guys. So I'm gonna tear that and weigh off what green, how much green I'm actually pulling off of here so I'll know next time how much green I do or do not need because it, I'm gonna scrape it down to the uh, bridge. So none of this green on top is gonna to be there. <laughs> you can see it's gonna go straight from the road to the bridge. So most all of this green is gonna go away that's on top. But it needs a little while before I can scrape it. Last scrape. four and a half ounces of the green which is basically what I increased it to <laughs> all right now the road this is the last of that batter and then I went ahead and made up another four ounces here just to give the road some variation and I was worried that I wasn't gonna have enough I want it to look like a 
road here that we would have in our county. And there are variations in the color of our roads. So that is why I did that. My trees aren't gonna have the variation and the interest, so maybe my road can. There we go. Last layer, guys. not enough oil it's not enough soap for my bar what and what did I do I did better last time it's about a half an inch short half an inch short here good night I did something wrong I had so much waste the first time around I really did decrease my batch size this time by eight eight ounces of oil weight. That was clearly a mistake. Because that gray clearly needs to be higher. I don't know if I should, I'm probably gonna have to whip up another batch. And there's gonna be a line. All right, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna turn you off, but here's what I'm gonna do. Make up a quick, quick batch. I am going to texture this so that there's not a straight line between this gray and the other gray. I'm going to try to get close, but I know I'm not going to get it 100% right, but maybe if I kind of texture it, it'll <laughs> look like there are potholes. <laughs> I'll bring you guys back tomorrow. Good enough. <sighs> All right. together. <gasps> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, you guys. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at it. Oh, oh my word. Look at that. That road is exactly what I was going for. I missed out on my, my variations of my trees, but my, I have clouds. Thank you, Lisa, for showing us how to do that. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. All right, guys, I have to go show my husband. So I'm gonna get the rest of it cut, cleaned, and I'll come back. Guys, I am so proud of myself. Can we just look at that? Look at that. How fun. This is going to sell like gangbusters at Covered Rich Festival. This, this, I'm going to have to like have a sign or, or something to bring people in. And I think I am going to make several more of these batches. Uh, I'm really proud of myself. Now let's look at the first one I did. You know, pretty elementary in the colors and pretty plain Jane. And then I improved. Look at that sky. Best sky I've ever, ever done. I just copied Lisa on that one, guys. <laughs> I just copied her. Some of my green, I don't know if you'll be able to pick it up, does have some color colorations. So I didn't lose it all with the having to stir that in and do all that I had to do with the green. I'm super happy with my road. And I'm really happy with the road underneath the covered bridge where it gets in the shadows and it's darker. I think that's perfect. It's exactly what I was going for. Not so dark that it's competing with the black interior of the bridge and not so light that it's competing with the road. I think I did so good on that. <laughs> and look, that's a Putnam County Road right there. Washed out, check holes, <laughs> crumbling. That's Putnam County roading roads for you. <laughs> so guys, what I would love to do, we'll see if this is ever gonna happen, but I think it would be really neat to do a three or four season covered bridge soap. 
So green, I was watching Lisa again, trying to figure out like how to figure out my layers, <laughs> you know, how do you, how do you figure out your layers and how much soap to make for each color? But, um, I got sidetracked and was watching her make different things and she did flowers in one. I'm thinking well, I could do like, just, just like very like, not like real flowers, but just like the image of a flower. And then, uh, the only thing I'm really nervous about I, is like the winter and maybe even fall where I would have to have some trees. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think I have that skill set. So I'm trying to figure out how I could do some tree trunks in here without it looking generic and everything. But wouldn't that be neat to have three or four seasons for sure? At least summer, fall, and winter and maybe even spring. I think that would be a really neat gift set for people because people collect Covered Bridge stuff like crazy. I, my aunt does for sure. So anyway, I I am just so happy. I'm so, so, so proud of myself. And I am so thankful to Lisa for gifting me these molds and scrapers so that I could um, bring this vision, if you want to call it that. It sounds a little pompous. I'm a vision. <laughs> but she helped me bring it to life. And I am so thankful and feel so blessed. And I am feeling so excited for these bridges. So I am going to make more. Uh, I need I need to kind of settle myself down a little bit and think about this. <laughs> I need to have less waste and make sure I <laughs> that my, my percentages and my oil, my batch size is appropriate for every layer. All that good stuff is gonna be a little more thought out, <laughs> I hope. <laughs> I really do not make any promises on that. <laughs> Guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for supporting me and just, I don't know, thank you for spending a little bit of your time with me today. I sure do appreciate you so, so much and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.